Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. Friends, with more and more people doing Azure Cloud certification, many of you have asked common questions around Microsoft exam retake policy. So in today's video, I will answer following very important questions around Microsoft exam retake policy. We will first understand the policy around general Microsoft certification exam retake and this will cover important questions like what happens if you don't pass the exam for the first time. Then secondly, we will understand what happens if you don't pass an exam for the second time, third time, fourth time or even fifth time. And then I will tell you can you again attempt an exam that you have already passed. After that, we will check out how to submit a request for an exam retake inside the wait period. Let's say that you experienced internet connectivity issues or equipment failure during the exam and due to that you failed the exam. So is there any way that you can apply for an exception? And that's exactly what I will tell you in this section. And as a bonus, I will also guide you on how to reschedule the exams and what is the cancellation policy. Now let's first understand the general Microsoft certification exam retake policy. Here you can see in the first point, Microsoft says that if you don't pass an exam for the first time, you must wait 24 hours before retaking the exam. The second point tells that if you don't pass an exam for the second time, then you must wait for at least 14 days before retaking the exam for the third time. Now let's assume that unfortunately you are not able to pass the exam for the third time as well. What happens then? In that case, a 14 days waiting period is imposed between the third and fourth attempts and also between fourth and fifth attempts. And finally, let's say that due to extreme reasons, you were not able to clear the exam even after five attempts. What to do then? In this case, Microsoft says that you may not take an exam more than five times within a 12 month period from the day you first attempted the exam. You will be only eligible to retake the exam again after 12 months from the date of your first attempt. I hope this clears out many important questions around Microsoft exam retake policy. I have shared Microsoft official link in the description box of the video where you can validate all this information. Now let me answer another frequently asked question and the question is that whether you can retake an exam that you have already passed. One possible reason for this could be that you are looking forward to improve your score in that exam. However, on this Microsoft policy says you cannot retake an exam that you have already passed unless your certification has expired. Now before moving ahead, I am sure that many of you are completely new to Azure and probably do not know where and how to start learning Microsoft Azure. In this case, the video flashing on your screen now is just for you. This one single video will give you answers to some of the very important questions such as where to start learning Microsoft Azure, what are Microsoft virtual training days and how you can register for them and get free training directly from Microsoft and that too for absolutely free. It will also make you aware of step by step process on how to get free Microsoft exam voucher for exams like AZ 900, AI 900, DP 900 and SC 900. Not only that, it will also show you end to end process on how to schedule Azure exams using Pearson BUE option. The link for this video is available in the description box. Friends, as a side note, I want to mention that you can watch our videos on Microsoft Azure most popular exam series such as AZ 900, AI 900, DP 900 and AZ 104. In these videos, you will be taken through a series of questions with answers that will make you ready for Microsoft Azure certification exams. The links for all these videos are available in the description box. Now let's understand how to submit a request for an exam retake inside the wait period. If you have already forgotten, let me recall it for you that wait period is the time period which you have to wait for between two exam attempts. For example, you have to wait for 14 days before the third attempt in case you have failed in the second attempt. But of course, who likes waiting and that's why if you don't want to wait for those 14 days, then you may apply for an exception. Now, as per Microsoft policy, you may request an exception to retake an exam if you experience internet connectivity issues or your equipment failed during the exam. 
Retake exceptions will not be granted if the exam failure is due to candidate's lack of preparation, knowledge, skill or ability. And to apply for the exception, you need to submit request to WWL exam escalations at Microsoft.com. Your request must include the following information, first name and last name, candidate ID, email associated with your candidate ID, exam registration ID, exam number, description of the error and lastly Pearson VUE case number. It's very important to note that if any of this information mentioned above is missing then the exam retake exception request will be rejected. Until now I have explained you following important questions. What happens if you don't pass an exam for the first time? What happens if you don't pass an exam for the second time, third time, fourth time or even fifth time? Then I told you can you again attempt an exam that you have already passed and lastly I told you how to submit a request for an exam retake inside the wait period. And friends now let me give you a bonus tip and here I will tell you how to reschedule the exams and what is the cancellation policy. For better understanding on exam reschedule and cancellation policy I have come directly on Microsoft documentation. The first very important point that you have to understand is to be sure to reschedule or cancel exam appointments at least 24 hours before your scheduled exam or else your fees will be forfeited. And in case you have used a company purchase voucher then the voucher will also be forfeited. Now let's check out how to reschedule an exam or how to cancel your exam. So the first step that Microsoft says is that you have to log in to your learn profile and choose your profile from the drop down menu in the photo avatar. So you can see on the top right hand side of your Microsoft learn profile you will see your photo avatar and here you have to click the profile option. And once you do that you have to select certification option in the profile menu. That's exactly what is shown in this image. You can see there is a certification option. Once you click this certification option all the certification that you have enrolled for are listed here. Then as a third step you have to scroll to the exam appointment you wish to cancel or reschedule and choose either cancel or reschedule link. So as this point says that you have to either choose cancel or reschedule option depending upon what you are exactly trying to do. And once you have made your choice you will be redirected to exam delivery provider site to cancel or reschedule your exam. And that's the whole process on how you can reschedule or cancel your Microsoft Azure certification exams. So now let's summarize today's video. Today in this very important video we took a deep dive on some of the most important questions around Microsoft exam retake policy. We started with understanding what happens if you don't pass an exam for the first time. Then I explained what happens if you don't pass an exam for the second time, third time, fourth time or even fifth time. And after that I answered the question can you again re-attempt an exam that you have already passed. Post that I told you how to submit a request for an exam retake inside the wait period. And then in the bonus section we understood what is exam reschedule and cancellation policy and how exactly you can reschedule or cancel any Microsoft exam. Friends I hope you like my endeavors in finding out answers to some of the most commonly asked questions around Microsoft exam retake policy. If so then please like the video. It is actually your likes on the video that helps YouTube algorithm understand the importance of the video and share it with people who are actually struggling with Microsoft Azure exam retakes and looking for the answers for the questions that we discussed today. And please do subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your family and friends. You can now share our videos on other social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram. So do join us there the information of all social media platform are now flashing on your screen. I will see you in the next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching. If this video has added any value in your learning, a like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning. Your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and I look forward for them. We will meet again in our next video. Till then stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.